Hey, Shane here with Hangar 8 Media. Today, we're gonna to show you how to change the oil in a general aviation aircraft, so stick with us. All right, so we're gonna change the oil in Archie. Uh, we just took it up for a flight, warmed it up, went over to another nearby airport, make sure the engine was nice and warm, come back and we'll drain it out while it's warm, that way you can get all the oil out. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drain a little bit of oil and we're gonna capture it in this container. And inside of this larger container is a little bit of a oil pig mat. There's a, a bag in there and there's also some paperwork. And what this is, is Blackstone Laboratories. It's always a good idea to take an oil sample, put it inside here, you send it off to Blackstone, and they'll do an oil analysis and they'll send it back to you. They keep the tail number of the airplane in their database so that you can look at it as long as it's been. When we first got this airplane three years ago, we did an oil analysis, they sent it back and it had multiple years prior to us owning it so we could look at the history to see if there's engine wear, if there's metal in the oil, whatnot. So stick with us. Also, I'm going to change my favorite t-shirt so I don't ruin it. Alright, I've changed my shirt to my second favorite shirt. Actually, this used to be my favorite shirt. I love Precious Metal, the Reno Air Racer. Every time I go down to Warbird Adventures in Kissimmee, I have to pick up a stack of shirts. I'd stained this one. It made me so sad. But last week, I was back down there, got another stack of them. So, this is now my work shirt. Um, let's get started. First thing we got to do is take the cowling off the airplane. We've got the cowling off. We're going to glove up. And we've got to be very careful because the engine is still hot. So one thing we can do is we can go ahead and take the dipstick, just loosen it up. Let's the engine breathe a little bit more. And you can see back here in the back, we've got our oil filter. We'll take that off later. We're not going to deal with that right this second. Come around on this side. And we actually have a drain way back in the back there. I'm going to get a flashlight so we can see a little bit better. So right here is a valve for the oil pan. And what you do is basically just push it up, twist it a little bit, and it'll release oil. So we're going to go ahead and take our sample. And hopefully we can do this without making a huge mess. All right, we've got our oil sample. And that's the first thing that comes out. And we cannot run it through a tube. It's got to come fresh straight out of the engine. So we've got a five gallon bucket and we just put a bag inside of it. That way it just keeps the bucket clean, less clean up. And when we get done, we'll go dump it. There is a uh, deposit here at the airport and then um, we'll have a clean bucket to start over with the next time. And I actually made this, it's just a piece of tubing and I zip tied some straight aluminum on there. The only reason why I did that is so it stays straight in the bucket. It doesn't try to coil up and I don't have oil overflowing everywhere. And what I'm gonna do so I'm going to put it up in the cowling and the exhaust pipes are already cooled off enough that it's not going to melt the tubing. I'll put that up inside and then basically I'm going to connect this tubing to that little valve, push up on it and it'll start draining out. We're actually draining the oil out from the engine. The engine is warm, oil is warm. We'll just go ahead and let that drain out. So we can see here where the oil line is connected up to the oil pan. A little bit better shot here. I just run the tube out of the bottom of the cowling. That way I don't have to take the cowling off. And it's coming out and you can see we've got some nasty oil coming out of there. Next thing is gonna be our oil filter. And as you can see, it has safety wire on it. We've got to cut the safety wire off and then we've got to loosen the oil filter and try not to make a mess inside the cowl. It's hard to tell. We've got safety wire. We're just going to nick one side of it. Should be able to pull it right off of the filter, which we did. And now let's go locate. It is actually connected to the engine block up on the top. So we're just going to nick one side of that. And we should be able to grab hold of the safety wire. Got to be careful not to let it poke you. Got our safety wire off. So our oil filter can now come off. So what I can do is go ahead and loosen it with our wrench. All right, so let's loosen. 
Now there is a tool that you can buy that will actually puncture a hole in the oil filter. And what that allows to do is for uh, air to enter the oil filter and the oil runs out, right? So the oil goes back through the engine. And that allows all the oil to drain out of the filter, makes less mess. But for one reason I like to keep my oil filters is I make lamps out of them. So here's a picture of what I can make out of them. If you're interested in one of them, take a look on our website. I'll have those up for sale very soon. Oil filters on airplanes have the tail number on them. So I like to keep mine. So when I make the oil, the lamps, I've actually got my airplane oil filter, not somebody else's. Some people don't care. If you don't own an airplane, you might not care. So you can see that I'm putting a Ziploc bag around this filter. The reason why I'm doing that is so I don't make a big, huge mess. All right, filter's off. As you can see up inside here, this is where the oil filter goes. I caught a little bit of oil there. And some of it did go down, but not much. There's always an aviation joke that says, uh, People ask, well, why is the airplane leaking oil? And the joke is, is if it's not leaking oil, then there's a problem. 